My name is Stella Thompson and I'm interested in carbon computations for future land use. Now I've, I've heard of a new program called Carbosen and I'm with Markku Larjavaara who works at the University of Helsinki. He's developed the software so maybe you could tell me a little more about it. Yeah that's right. Carbosen is, is good for computing carbon implications of uh, land use scenarios. Typically they are land use scenarios for the future, but you could do also calculations on carbon, ecosystem carbon in the past. And it can be used for, for several purposes. One, one is to, uh, for example, we developed it to be used in participatory workshops so it's a relatively easy tool to for the participants to understand relatively quickly all right uh, are there other people who could also use it yeah i think it's 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 it would be close to optimal also for quick uh, carbon computations to uh, to estimate, for example, uh, whether there is potential for carbon conservation projects, for example, under the framework of Red Plus. All right. Uh, well, you've got me really interested. So, how do I get the program? Yeah, you can you can download it it from uh, CIFOR website. So. What you get from there is a folder and in that folder there are four folders and one shortcut. So when you click the shortcut the program opens. But if you can't see the, the shortcut because I noticed that in some countries people use antivirus software which deletes the shortcut automatically then go to the bin open it and click the exe file the large exe file that's another way to open the program all right uh, are there situations when i can't really use yeah well their carbosen is only about carbon like the name suggests so the idea is that the, the more there is carbon in the ecosystem, the more there is biospheric carbon, the less there is carbon in the atmosphere in the form of carbon dioxide. But carbosen is not about methane or nitrous oxides or other greenhouse gases or other uh, impacts of land use or land use change on climate. Carbosen is only about carbon. All right. Well, let's say, for example, that I have a nature forest area or a natural forest area. So can I use Carbosen to compute the carbon in this case? Yeah, you, you could get numbers with Carbosen for, for steady state old growth forest, but there's no point in using Carbosen in that kind of simple situation. You can do the calculation in, in the back of an envelope. Just multiply the carbon density value with the area and that's it. That's how you get the landscape uh, carbon stocks. Carbosen, we designed Carbosen to simulate carbon implications in changing landscapes. We're changing uh, land uses and slow changes in carbon density. For example, due to uh, soil carbon included in the simulation, for example, when the cropland, like you can see in this photo, a cropland is converted into a forest. Typically, there's an increase in soil carbon, but the change is slow. It doesn't happen in one day after the trees are planted, but it takes years and decades so Carbosen is, is good in taking these slow changes into account. All right. Well, if we have more complex simulations, does the program take into account all forms of land use change or just certain ones? 
Yeah, so you can you can uh, add land use types as many as you want in this graphical user interface. So, but there are certain assumptions on how the land use changes happen. So we can we can discuss those in the in the later clips.